him lightning. Trying to get myself some access to be able to weld these lower joints. new surface to weld to? Yep, all the old base of the tube and weld is all gone, so it's back to the original tubes on that side, and I got this side to repeat the process to. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Gordita? I think it's coming along. Coming along pretty good, huh? Oh, yeah. Very cool. This may need a little wipe on the lens. Oh, okay. My cut off. Cut off the located right here. Oh, there we go. No more cloudiness now. You're good, Sean. Thank you, sir. Coming together. Yeah, so you get it over here tight like that at the tip is cornering which changes kind of yeah so what I'm thinking is I'll probably end up hacking just this top rail off right here and then the bottom one's still close enough that I can use my port of power to push it out I see a C and then we'll get this out here just like that kick it bend in right here that will look so good let's see out the windshield there. it's gonna be really good yeah, man. Cool. Changes the game. Love it. Well, that's where we're going. Now that I got the bottom all cleaned up, that was the hard part. Yeah, I know. It was, uh, I mean, nothing to look forward to. I might end up cutting a chunk of yeah. the driver's side floor out. Where this bar goes across there, I might just go straight kind of in front of that little cross member. Uh -huh. To patch in the floor oh, just plain sheet metal. Really? Yeah, man. Just because it's all. Yeah. This over there. Yeah. Getting that bar all super tucked in there. It's gonna look pretty good. Looks weird all naked again up front, but right. But definitely for the better. Absolutely. And then we'll, once that's all done, you can do the clutch mount again and get all that back together. Things should be a little more solid. Sword of the ninja. No, no. All right. Cool. Two more bars down. Yeah, I'll have to clean up those snubs, but they're just at the wrong angle, as in like 
this direction for where the bar is going to be. Okay. So instead of trying to force those, we'll just cut those out and that's an easy bar to replace anyways. We've got the bar in the stock, so. Cut it out, I'll snub it down later, and I'll just keep working on these bars, get them in place. Cool. And then we'll clean these up later and build those. Slight bend. You have to slight. Just to make it ever slightly so happy. Put this little bend here and he's gonna live with the bends there. Okay. Looks good. Get the bends with the bends and the welds with the welds. Between a happy little weld here and a happy little weld there. <laughs> 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 Happy little tree over here. <laughs> Grew up watching him on PBS back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. I watched it a few times. Is he your idol for your haircut? Yeah. Awesome. That's who inspired the curly hair. Someday it'll have the nice gray tint to it, just like his. <laughs> ah, I'm kicking stuff. Sorry, Sean. Come on, Leroy. Dang, just beat up all my parts. <laughs> Can't take a Gordo anywhere. Nope, breaking everything. Pretty fast. Well, that heavy little band looks like it wants another degree or two. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to to happy those bends just a fuzz more, just to tuck this corner in here, just a little more. Just that little smidgen. Just a little bit, just a wee bit. Just a wee bit smidgen. We went to about eight degrees, so this time we'll take it out to 10. 10 degrees total? 10 degrees, but it actually comes back to about only three because you have a seven degree spring back. Oh. Because the chromoly will 
flex a whole bunch a full seven degrees and then if you let go at seven it'll actually come all the way back to zero. Oh wow. So you actually have to put whatever degree you want and in at least for my chromoly that I get when I put test pieces in and bend them out I get se you know About seven, seven inch spring back. Doing happy little bends, Brent. Happy little bends? Yeah. Happy. Oh man, we'll set some bars off. Shit. Things are Look at that one. He bent that one a little bit to where it's getting, it's getting, getting real, real around here. Getting real? Getting real. Getting real what? Getting real rad. Getting real rad. Now that little bend is very happy. <laughs> now I see Bob Ross in it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said earlier. I was like, all right, Bob Ross. That's right, Bob Ross. <laughs> That's great. I mean, I was staring at Gordo's lovely. How, how do you know where to start your bend? You mark well, it with a marker? I measure it with a measuring tape. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I mark it. And then my start of bend goes at the front of my die. Okay, that makes sense. And this one I've already started, so I'm just lining my bend back up to the start of the die where the start of the bend is. <laughs> A happy bigger bend. A happy baby bend. Oh, Gordo. I put it in the wrong spot. Get it out of my armpit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, now that's going to put it real nice. Super exciting. All right, so I'm getting ready to build or do the last bend on the first A pillar here. This one's actually going to be the passenger side one. I got a mark that I'm trying to line up with my die. It's in there somewhere. Yeah, it's right here, right at my thumb. Right I see it. And I'm going to get that lined up with the die right there, just like yep, the like that. Thing. Okay. Slides in. Get my index increasing up. Block sleeve. Block sleeve, that's what that's called. Gosh, that's the yeah, locks the tube to this arm here. Okay. Get my indexing going. degree kick and that's going to make it fit towards the halo and that's also where it'll get cut off and notched is in that bend so okay. we'll get this in there and see where it is and kind of get an idea of where it's going to be for length and yeah then we'll start cutting and notch. so there you go look watch i'm at 47 so i said like 40 degrees right yeah. And now I'm going to hold pressure on this and it's going to spring back. See? Wow. Right to 40. Right to 40. That's neat. 
Yeah, that shows that it just has seven degrees of spring. And different sizes have different amounts. It's usually the, the larger diameters get a little more of it. Okay. All right. Nicely bent ball. Just gonna go up in there like that. It's a little tricky to get in there sometimes. Where this top will end up. So since that one's on a corner, are you gonna have to do two notches? What's that? Oh wait, no. Well, since it's on like a an intersection, or is it? Yeah, like I'll do a full notch, notch across and then a notch on just the front. I like your tactical RX glasses. <laughs> Thank you. Got to keep them eyeballs safe. Yep. Here in Sean's laboratory, safety is number one priority. <laughs> yes. Gordo's had me yell at him about safety a few times. Yeah. Pit vipers aren't suitable safety glasses. I might be able to fit it in there now to get
just a little bit more. I need to change the clocking just a little bit. Really close to well. side looks like it's pretty good. Yeah, it looks great. So then I just gotta clean up where it lands, get it all prepped. But this bar is built. So now I just gotta go to the other side and repeat mirrored. Cool. Woo! What do you think so far? That's coming together real nice. Oh yeah. It's fitting real good. Real, real, real good. Good. See how it just, so once the windshield's in, you can barely see it. This whole top will be gone. All you'll see is like, maybe you want to, maybe this edge. Yeah, I gotta put gusset like, in there, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Sick. That's pretty sick. Not too bad for day 1.5. That's it, you know, I mean. Yeah. We gotta get used to it in case, you know, Gordo wads it up into the wall, then we can Whoa. fix it real quick. Um, Gordo does it. You're gonna let me drive this thing? <laughs> Wouldn't that be interesting? As long as you wear the open face helmet. <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to in a car like this. I'll turn it down. No, then what's the <laughs> point of driving it? <laughs> Just to see your reaction. All right. I am a lightning. 